hello 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 welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in for another video if you're new here welcome my name is Danny Renee I do videos on YouTube on hair faith and lifestyle so you guys as you guys can see I am back wearing full lace wigs I don't know I um, decided to do try out the kinky edges kinky straight hair from I like hair wigs and I love it it looks so good it looks super natural look at those edges and yeah no they did really good with this um these edges as you guys see I have it I have a no part situation right now but I do I did um like I did do a middle part as well I have light curls in the hair as well and I might make this part a little bigger if I decide to wear it with the little part but I'm really liking this flip over no part method right now um so yeah if you guys want to see how I got the hair to look like this super natural super cute um make sure you stay tuned and of course I'll show you guys all the goodies that come in the bag because you know what I'm gonna just say this hair companies are getting really good with those extra gifts like they're actually providing things that are useful and i appreciate that so shout out to you guys i like your wigs <laughs> anyways if you guys want to see how i like achieve this really cute natural look make sure you stay tuned all right so inside the bag you get a wig cap and then there's another cute little bag that has other goodies in it so you have your elastic bands that you can make the wig uh, lay without putting glue or spray or anything um clips which are so needed you can never have too many clips and a bobby pin that's like really cute edge control brush which i've already used actually uh a rat style comb and then this is the larger bag, which is great for wig storage, you guys. Store your wigs in nice bags because it makes them last longer. So let's look at the construction of this wig. As you can see, it is kinky straight texture. It's a really, really, really nice texture. It feels really good. It flows when you do have it on. Inside, this is a 13 by four. And so you have um, four combs on the inside and um, yeah, I'm trying to show you guys <laughs> four combs and then of course the place to put the elastic bands that they add as well And let's look at these edges y'all look at these kinky edges. They look so good. It's it is like this new technology It's a game changer So what I'm gonna do is push putting on the mannequin and I'm gonna lay down the edges and just kind of do everything towards the back and with some loose lay that down and then I'm going to straighten the hair soon after this. Okay, so now I am actually just going to put foundation on the lace. You can either dye the lace, um, you know, bleach the lot knots. You can tint the lace. I just did this because it's quicker, and I ain't like doing all that. And my my light, my it still laid really good. I had to do a couple um, a couple tries of more foundation and use different colors, but it still looked good at the end of the day. So whatever is best for you. Um, I'm just cutting down the lace now. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna show this whole process. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. As you see, I put more foundation on the lace and I choose a color that's a little bit darker than my skin complexion, but it actually ended up matching really, really well. So now I'm just kind of playing around to see if I want a middle or a side part. I kind of played around with the side part 
before and I decided okay maybe I want to do a middle and you guys saw in the beginning that I ended up doing a flip over method I am going to hot comb the hair to get it as flat as possible you know because you know we love flat hair we love hair that looks like our hair that is growing out of our scalp and this is what it's looking like now and now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to cut some layers in it and I actually ended up cutting the hair all together because 18 inches was just really long instead of doing glue I'm just going to do mousse to lay it down um and you know listen we all for quick wig slaves okay i ain't doing the ball cap method <laughs> i'm just whatever is quick and fast and still looks good is what i like to do so i lightly curled the hair as you see it very light curls i was mad because i had this whole section of footage that i, I actually never worked it didn't i didn't film it didn't record so i was mad when i first got on but it's okay i i, I got the gist of the video out and to me it looks so 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 good like what y'all it looks so natural and as you can see it kind of lifted because it's not like totally glued down but it's still like lays really flat in my head and this is what it looks like in different lighting so as y'all can see this is a wig that is a must it is a game changer and i recommend i recommend 10 out of 10 to anybody thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next video